Hello friends, uh, in this video we are going to discuss our next topic that is component of POSET and Hesse diagram terminology. As we already discussed about what is a POSET and what are the properties of a set to be a POSET and how we draw a Hesse diagram step by step as well as how we draw the Hesse diagram directly. Now after drawing the Hesse diagram we have to find out some components and uh, uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss the four a uh, component of POSET and the next four component will be discussed in uh, will be discussed in my next video okay. So in this video we are going to discuss four component that is maximal element, minimum, greatest and least. First of all we discuss uh, the theoretical concept about the component of POSET and then we discuss it all these all these four component with the help of an example. So the first component of POSET is maximum element. So how we find uh, in case of any HESI diagram how we can find the maximum element. So A is the maximal in, in this POSET that is S is less than or equal to if there is no element B which belongs to S such that A is less than or equal to B okay or we can say that the top element all the top element of the Hesse diagram is the maximum element okay. So the top elements all top element of the Hesse diagram gives the maximum element. Next the minimum element defined as A is the minimum in this poset that is S less than equal to if there is no element B which belong to S such that B is less than or equal to A. So the Hesse, all the bottom elements bottom element of the Hesse diagram gives the minimum element. So after finding maximum and minimum next we discuss greatest element. So greatest element can be defined as A is the greatest element of this poset S less than equal to if B is less than or equal to A for all element B belongs to S but the important part is that it must be unique. So if we have a max more than one maximum element then in that case we have no unique element therefore we do not have any greatest element in that case. Similarly if we have more than one minimum element of any Hesse diagram which, which means that there is no unique element therefore in that case we do not have any least element. So for the greatest element as well as the least element the maximum, minim, maximum and minimum element will be unique means if there is any single unique element for the maximum and the minimal case then that maximum and minimum is element is called greatest element and the least element respectively okay. So now we take one example to find out see here the question is that which element of POSET are maximum, minimum, greatest and least element for this particular POSET. In this POSET we have a set in which we have element 2, 4, 5, 10, 12, 20 and 25 and the relationship is divides. This relationship means divides. So for Finding the all these four component, first of all we have to draw the Hesse diagram directly. Okay, for the for this relationship means for the divide relationship. So first we start with the first component, that first element that is two. So two is the first element, so it is the initial element, or we can say the least element. Now the next element is four. Now very uh, find out that whether 4 is fully divided by 2, yes, so therefore 4 is connected to 2 like this. Now the next element is 5. Now check whether the 5, the element 5 is fully divided by 2, no, so it cannot be directly connected to 2. Now check whether 5 is directly divided by 4, no, this means that the 5 element is the independent element and we shown like this. Now the next element is 10. 
So we have to compare the present element with the, all the previous uh, element with the given relationship. Suppose the next element is 10, so I have to find out whether this element 10 divides by 2, 4 and 5. So first we uh, see that 10 is divided by 2, yes. So we take an ele uh, element 10 which divides by 2, so we make a direct connection with 2. 4 is, 10 is divided by 4, no. So we do not have any connection with or medium with being 4 and 10. Then 5, yes, 10 is fully divided by 5. So we connected 10 element with the 5. Okay. The next element is 12. So we have to check with the, all the previous element with 2, 4, 5 and 10. So 2 is divisible by 10, sorry, uh, 12 is divisible by 2, yes. So we take a 12 here. So this 12 is divided by 2 as well as 4. So we connect like this. Now, is this 12 is divided by 5? No. By 10? No. So, this 12 is fully divided by 2 and indirectly, 4 and indirectly by 2. So, we connect like this. Now, the next element is 20. See, 20 is divisible by 4? Yes. By, uh, sorry, by 2? Yes. By 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 10? Yes. By, uh, by 12? No. So, this means we take 20 here and we connect like this. So it, this means that 20 is divisible by 10 as well as 5 and we connect like this. This means that 20 is divisible by 2 and 4 respectively. Now the next element is 25. 25 is divisible by 2, no. By 5, yes. 4, no. 10, no. 12, no. 20, no. This means that we have an element 25 which is only connect to 5 here. So this is the so this is the Hesse diagram for the given poset that is this. Now for this given poset we have to find out all the components. One is maximal, next is minimum or minimal, next is greatest element and next is least element. So, for the maximum element, just find out all the top element of 25. See here, this 12 is the top element of the Hesse diagram. So, the next, first maximum element is 12. Then 20 is the top because no element is top to this 20, element 20. So, 20 is the maximum, um, maximum element or you can say the top element. So, the maximum element is 20. Similarly, this 25 is also the top element of the Hesse diagram. Therefore, for the given Hesse diagram, the maximum element are 12, 20 and 25. Now, to find the minimum element, see the bottom element, all the bottom element of the Hesse diagram. So, 2 and 5 are the bottom element of the Hesse diagram. Therefore, the minimum element for this Hesse diagram is 2 and 5. Now, the next component is greatest. So, as we already know that the greatest element is a unique element in the maximum element. Unique means if we have uh, a single maximum element that is a unique and that unique element is called the greatest element. But in this case, we have three maximum element means there is no unique element, no unique element. So, this means that we do not have any greatest element for this particular Hesse diagram. Now for the least similarly, for the least element we consider the minimum element and see whether we have a, any unique minimum element means any single unique element, no. 2 and 5 are the two element which is not a unique element. Therefore, for this example there is no unique element. So no unique element means no least element. Similarly, no greatest element, okay. So, this is how we draw, first we draw a Hesse diagram for a given pole set and then we find the maximum, minimum, greatest and least, okay. Now, we take another example for finding out the all these, all the four component. See, if we have this given Hesse diagram that is A, B, C and D. 
for this particular Hesse diagram the maximum element is the maximum element is all the top top element of this Hesse diagram. So, B, C and D are the top element. So, B, C and D are the minimum element sorry maximum element. Then minimal element is all the all the bottom element of the Hesse diagram. So, A is the only bottom element of this Hesse diagram. So, minimum element is 1. Now, the greatest element for the greatest element we have a unique maximum element no. So, no greatest element the reason is that we do not have any unique element in the max, maximal case. Now, for the least element A is the only minimum element which is a unique element therefore, the least element is also a A because this uni A is a unique element in the case of minimum ok. Now, we take another example. Suppose this is the Hesse diagram given Hesse diagram C what is the maximum element for this Hesse diagram all the top element that is D comma E. Next minimum element all the bottom diagram sorry bottom element that is A comma B. Now the next element next component is greatest there is no greatest element because there is no unique element no unique element in the maximum case. Next is least. So, no least element. Why? Because we have more than one element in the minimum. So, which is not a unique element. Therefore, for this particular case, we have no least element. Now, we discuss more example. See here, this is the uh, Hesse diagram. So, in this also, we have a maximum element that is the top element that is D here minimum element is bottom element of this Hesse diagram that is A comma B. Next is greatest element, greatest element is D here because D is the only unique element for the maximum. Therefore, the greatest element is D and least, there is no least element. Why? Because we have more than one element in the minimum case. Now, see next example. For this particular Hesse diagram, the maximum element is D, minimum is A because the bottom element is A, greatest element is again D because it is a unique maximum element or single element and the least element is, is equal to A because A is the unique element for the minimum case. Okay. Now, we discuss a more further example. If this is a Hesse diagram for any uh, given post set, the maximal element are the top element that is H comma J. So, H comma J are the maximum element. Next is minimal case, max minimal is the least element that is, that is the bottom element that is A. Now, the greatest element, greatest element is we have more than two uh, more than one element in the maximum case. So, this means there is no greatest element which can be a which can be a unique element. So, no greatest element and for the least least is a A least is a A because A is the only element which is a unique in the minimum case. Now, we take another example see uh, for this given Hesse diagram the maximum element is the top element of Hesse diagram that is G comma H then minimum minimal is bottom element that is A comma B ok then greatest greatest is no greatest element because there is no unique element in the maximum and the last is least element. So, similarly no least element because we do not have any unique element in the minimum case. So, I hope you understood this all the examples for finding maximum, minimum, greatest and least ok. In my next video, I am going to discuss the next four, uh, four component of post set that is uh, upper bound, lower bound, greatest lower bound and least upper bound. So, keep watching my video. Thank you so much.